Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So I've got some pretty exciting news for you guys today. Essentially, we recently found out that the future Gohan and future Trunks story event is going to be getting a revamp in the upcoming update on JP and eventually at some point down the line for Global as well. But nobody really knows exactly when that's going to be. I mean, at this point, I don't even know if Bandai knows, but that's besides the point. Anyways, guys, this is extra, extra exciting, at least to me, because in my opinion, this story event is one of, if not the best story event in the entire game for a number of reasons. And we'll talk about that in just a second. But first things first, let's actually pop over to the Dokkan subreddit. And uh, all credit goes out to Reddit user RV910 for posting the in-game news here. And as you guys can see, we are getting two new farmable free-to-play units in a tech future android 17 and a str future android 18 and also the physical sr base form uh, future gohan that was available before is now going to be getting a dokkan awakening 2 to a super saiyan future gohan and we don't have any details i believe about this guy yet but we do have the leader skills for these two units so we're going to pop down here and uh, once again shout out to rv910 for these translations so for the tech future android 17 his leader skill is going to be android category key plus two hp attack and defense plus 30 percent whereas the str future android 18 is going to be a siblings bond category uh, leader key plus two hp attack and defense plus 30 percent so nothing crazy there i do believe or i've heard that these two are also getting token awakenings at launch but i'm not 100 percent sure about that so don't necessarily hold me to it but the interesting thing or the exciting thing about these two units is that they actually are farmable, right? And that means that all other future Android 17s and future Android 18s in the game now will also have farmable super attacks. So you can save some Kai's there, and uh, that's always a good thing. And you guys know, man, I'm never gonna complain about a new Android 18 in this game ever. So that's also awesome to me. But uh, yeah, that's really cool. We got two new farmable units from the event, and also the Dokkan Awakening for this guy right here means that the physical future Gohan now officially as well the the summonable one that is because they're both physical right the summonable physical feature gohan will now have a farmable super attack as well but yeah those are the major changes i know about at the moment i'm sure that there's going to be some other minor tweaks that make the whole experience better but uh we don't have those details at this point in time but let's actually pop over to the event page here and just quickly talk about why this event is so freaking awesome why i think it's one of the best story events in the game and it basically comes down to the farmable items you can get from this event right so we're gonna pop down a little bit here okay so obviously you're getting dragon stones for first time clear that's pretty standard but when you get to stage two uh, this stage is actually really insane because you can farm gravity chambers here and if you guys don't know gravity chambers are one of the most important items in the entire game because uh, especially this one right here helps reduce your uh, training item expenditure by half right so because it doubles the effectiveness of uh training right so uh you definitely want to make sure you have a good store of those i i farm this event all the time but i ran out of keys recently but even like farming all the time i keep running out of gravity chambers uh because you know when you're like farming super attack or when you're just like awakening lrs and stuff like that it, you, you need a lot of training items and you need a lot of gravity chambers so these items are super super clutch and you can actually farm them on this stage right here uh level two z hard and the piccolo actually at the end is super super easy he has like 100 to 200k hp so it shouldn't be much of a problem for anybody but yeah stage two really really good for these gravity chambers and uh, they also recently added a increased drop category the future saga for this event which means that you can get up to like three or four drops per run if you have the right team so uh yeah that's insane you can get up to like three or four gravity chambers these uh times two gravity chambers uh per run so yeah super awesome there and then of course you can get the future gohan here you get the medals for him uh, you can also get this future trunks here and uh, some more metals so that's not super exciting but then you get down to level 10 and this is where all the uh, support items are so for level 10 you can get the android 8 which of course uh, some of you guys may know is one of the best 
healing items that also uh, increases your defense. So this is super good for things like Super Battle Road or uh, Legendary Goku event or Infinite Dragon Ball History. Basically any event where the enemy is going to be hitting you uh, quite hard. You also need some healing uh, along the way. Really good item right there, the Android 8 support item. And then there's the future Bulma support item. Uh, similar idea except this is more offensive. You get the healing as well as a increase to attack for your team. And then we also have the Icarus here, which is one of the best damage reduction items in the entire game too. So right here on the last three levels, level uh, 10, 11, and 12, we're getting uh, three of the best support items in the entire game. And also the Gravity Chambers on level 2 just makes this event absolutely amazing. And I've always said this is one of, if not the best story events in the entire game. And I'm glad that they're also now going back and making some additional changes, giving us some more farmable units, giving us potentially even more drop items too that we don't know about yet like i said we don't have all the details about the event yet we'll have to wait until the event actually comes out the revamp version actually comes out to find out exactly what all the changes were but even at this point man the token awakening to the future gohan the uh, two new future androids that make all future androids at least 16 and 17 or 17 and 18 uh farmable and uh, the fact that you know you can, you can probably still farm these like gravity chambers and all these support items. Uh, this event is awesome. It's a really, really good event. Definitely deserves your attention, if for nothing else but the gravity chambers. And uh, that is that is pretty much it, man. That's all I really got to say. Um, oh, also the farmable future trunks here allows you to farm the super attack levels of the other super saiyan future trunks. Trunks. I haven't talked right now. Future trunks in the game. And yeah, that's it, man. Really, really great story event. Revamp incoming real soon. New Android 17, new Android 18, Dokkan Awakening for the future Gohan. And that's all I really want to talk about, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you found it informative in some way. And as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's all I gotta say. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. And uh, have an awesome, awesome day, guys. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.